In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to combine like terms and algebraic expressions. Like terms are algebraic expressions that differ only in their coefficients. For terms to be alike, they need to have the same variable raised to the same power. The process of combining like terms is also referred to as collecting like terms. Question 1 reads, combine like terms in the following expressions. Let's start with the first one. We have 7x plus 5x minus 3. This expression contains three terms, and you'll notice that the first two terms both have the variable x, and x is being raised to a power of 1, even though it's not shown. Because 7 and 5 are both being multiplied to x, we can combine 7 and 5 by adding them together. 7 plus 5 is 12. And we place the variable right beside it. So 12 times x. We also have a third term minus y. Minus y cannot be combined with any other term, so the ones that can't be combined, you just write them at the end. So we have 12x minus y. In our next expression, we have 4z plus 3x minus 2z plus x. Let's go ahead and highlight the like terms. The 4z and minus 2z are alike. Notice that I'm highlighting the minus as well. That belongs to the 2z. We also have 3x and positive x that are alike. 4z has a coefficient of 4. The number in front of the letter is called a coefficient. And the coefficient here is minus 2. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2z. 3x plus 1x. Even though the coefficient here isn't written, it's actually a 1. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. That's the simplified expression for the second one. In question number two, they ask, find the sum of 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 and x to the power of 3 minus 3x squared plus 7. Then, subtract by the expression written here. Let's go ahead and add this and this together. We have 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 all being added to this expression. What I will do is place this in brackets because it's one big unit. Now because there's no number present in front of this bracket, for example, there's no 4 or some other random number, we don't necessarily need the brackets there. I only did it to show their importance and you're going to see their importance when we subtract. So I want you to treat this as if there are no brackets. Let's collect like terms. This term and this term are alike. This term and this term are alike. The reason for that is because they both don't share a letter, so they can be combined. This term and this term do not share any common terms. So let's combine 3x squared with minus 3x squared. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. 0 times x to the power of 2, well, it's nothing. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Minus 5 and plus 7. Minus 5 plus 7 is positive 2. These weren't alike with anything else, so I'll write down 2 plus 2x plus x to the power of 3. We've successfully combined this expression to that one. Now we have to subtract by this thing. So we'll subtract this, and notice, once again, I'm putting everything in brackets. 2x to the power of 3 plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 7. Now you're going to see the importance of these brackets, because if you have brackets enclosing a expression, such as the one you see, then each of these terms are going to be multiplied by that negative, that negative symbol on the outside. And if you do that, all of the terms will have a switch in their sign. So this was initially positive, it will be minus x to the power of 3. This was positive as well, minus 3x squared. This was negative, so it becomes positive 4x and this was negative, it becomes positive 7. This stays the way it is. 2 plus 2x plus x to the power of 3. Let's combine like terms. This one and this one are alike. This one, this one are alike. This term and this term are alike. They both have x to the power of 3. And this term is on its own. Let's start with the yellow. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. 2 plus 4 is equal to 
6x. These two are alike. This has a coefficient of 1, even though it's not written. 1 minus 2 is negative x to the power of 3. And this one, given that it's on its own, is minus 3x squared. Technically, you're done. And most teachers will accept this answer. Although, if you want to be professional, you can switch these around so that the highest degree is first. So you can write it as minus x to the power of 3 minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 9. And so there you have it. That is how to combine like terms in algebraic expressions.